Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back for another 4 a.m. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do um, today is I'm actually going to create myself a like a texture library. So I've started off with one of mine here. So basically, I've just created a, um, created a folder for this breeze block here. And meaning that just looks the same. Oops. Rename. Breeze block. Okay, now we're going to use GIMP. And I've also got a very handy plugin to use with this, which I'm going to show you how to do. So first thing says, drag this straight into GIMP, which is what I love about, I love about GIMP. Okay, now we'll go, now we go to filters and map. Now, we could use these, but it's going to be easier to do it this way. So what I'm going to do, minimise that, minimise that. So what I'm looking to create is I want a diffuse map, a displacement, a uh, ambient occlusion, a normal, and a specular map all of the one picture so that all my pictures are in here <coughs> <coughs> sorry all my maps are in here with the one picture <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> and i'm going to do that for each texture okay and each texture is going to have its own file exactly as this one has so what we're going to do is we're going to go to google and we're just going to type in insane bump gimp plugin download and go to the second one you could probably go to the first one but i go to the second one go to the registry and then if you read on this on this part here it says that we're looking for insane bump windows 1.0.6. zip plugin executable contains insane bump dot exe okay so I don't know why it's going so slow today okay so scroll right down to the bottom and we've got insane bump windows 1.0.6 zip plugin executable contains insane bump dot exe so I have downloaded it there what I'm gonna do it's gonna get rid of that and get rid of that so I can do it all flash reviews okay so save that to wherever um, yeah let it download share and folder and then we're going to extract to the same file which is there okay so now that that's done close that down get rid of that now what we want to do is we want to go to computer C users whatever your name is GIMP plugins that's what we want to do Give me one second <coughs> okay so after you've gone to your um local C user your name GIMP and plugins you want to open this grab them both drag them copy them into in there and then you can actually get rid of that if you wanted to because you've got your files in the plugins and that's where it needs to be so now if you go back into GIMP filters map okay hasn't changed now the reason being you have to restart GIMP for this to actually take effect. And you just close your plugins down because you don't need that anymore. Okay. And then GIMP, drag it in. And now what we can do is go to filters map insane bump now what insane bump is going to do 
it's going to create all of those maps but in a couple of seconds maybe a couple of minutes depends on how, um, how dense the actual mesh is um, the actual picture is and if you want to change any of these okay so diffuse displacement occlusion normal specular and that's pretty much it as quick as possible um, you have got these options which you can change and if I just go onto Google because I don't know what these actually do we'll have a little look and see what we can do um, okay so GIMP plugin insane bump options See, and crazy bump is another thing that you can use for the crazy bump you have to pay for. So this is absolutely fantastic, really. Let's go back in here and see if it says anything to us. Nope, that doesn't tell us anything. So I guess it's a case of we play around with it and we find out. So we move lighting, upscale HD, tile, New width, integer times integer times larger, edge enhancing specular, specular definition. So that's that specular down there. So if we, I'm going to have to change it more than one to see something um, noticeable happen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave them just how they are and I'm going to execute. Now, hopefully, they will go to where that folder is automatically. That's what I'm hoping. This may take a little bit of time, I'm not sure why, but I'll just pause this so you're not sitting there watching nothing. Okay, so because I changed something there, um, something went wrong. I'm not sure why, but something went wrong. Um, so I've just restarted it again, <coughs> loaded the files back in, and then pressed execute, and now you see it's working fine. Okay, and here we go. So that is the ambient occlusion, that is displace, H is the bump map but these it's actually a height map instead. And then we've got a high normal, low normal, medium normal and the normal. Then we've got our specular and super normal which is quite cool. Let's have a look at this. Super normal. Okay. Why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a quick way of making everything. I'm making it pretty quick, to be honest. So, I mean, what I'm going to do myself is I'm just going to uh, ambient occlusion. Displacement. Height. <coughs> High. Normal. I'll see if I can do this inside and um, GIMP and actually change it. Lower. Uh, sorry. Low. Normal. medium normal
normal. Specular. And I can only assume this is super normal. And that's them all done. Um, so what I'll do is I'll then be named that underscore original. And then if we can view sort by, I like to do um, date ascending. Nope, it's not going to work there. Date. Don't think it actually does. Time. <laughs> um, date, date, date. Date received. Okay. Okay, so we'll just do it by name, that's fine. I just wanted that to kind of be at the front there. I suppose that I can just take off the original and then do that. That's fine. Okay, so then that's one part. That's my breeze block done. And sorted out in my texture library. So now let's go into here and let's see if let's create an insane bump again. No, that's not going to give me any options there. Um, that's still going for some reason. <laughs> Image properties. That's not going to do anything. I've got a plugin browser there. It's quite cool. Nope. Okay, well that's, you know, you win some, you lose some. But now we've got that, what we can now do, discard changes. Oh, hang on. Okay. Okay. We still got all our maps. That's what matters. Okay, so now we'll just again new new folder old style brick not brick brick old style brick. Old style brick, grab hold of it, put it in GIMP. And you know, some of these textures you might not actually use, um, at least, you know, that's what I'm, I'm coming from. I, you know, I might not use all these, but the thing is, the day, and that's what matters. So if I ever do come to use them, I don't have to go through everything. All the maps are already there. I've got my bump maps, I've got my, all my height maps, my normals, my ambient occlusion, displacement, specular. Everything's there. It's ready for me to work from straight away. And by doing that, <coughs> you know, you can actually save a lot of time. So execute straight away.
and it's as simple as that you just go through all your textures now and you know make all your maps and then as soon as you need them in blender you grab them straight from it um as you know this is probably going to be easier for like um in fact you know i, I can still use the normal maps and stuff and um, the bump maps you can still use them in blender but this will probably be easier and quicker for someone that uses cycles rather than blender vendor there we go all there again it's just a shame that we can't actually change those um but you know that that's fine i'll just because i'm kind of ocd i'm just gonna go in and just change them because i like them all to look the same Obviously, you don't have to do this, but I mean, I don't have to do this, but I want to. I want everything to to look nice, and I want everything to be there. both done and now I'm just going to continue to do these other ones and yeah you know hopefully this was um this was useful to you and hopefully this will help somebody else it's really helped me out and I got the video off I actually found a tutorial that I followed um on YouTube and I think it was by someone like Vixen or something like that apologies um I forget that name wrong but you know, it was a really good, um, detailed tutorial. So, thanks very much for that. But yeah, that will be all for now, and we shall see where we go on the next one. I think I'm going to actually create something and use the normal maps around it and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks very much, folks, and I shall see you again. Um, yeah, ciao now.